Hi there everybody, I'm Victoria, if you don't know already, and I am a professional seller on eBay. I have my own business and store and I specialise in ladies pre-owned fashion and that would range from anything vintage to premium designer, handbags, shoes, dresses, clothes, everything. I sell ladies fashion. Anyway, when I first started out on eBay, I hadn't got a clue about keywords I haven't got a clue and especially had no idea on how to describe fabrics in fact i don't even think that was actually a thing um i think i started off selling things like top shop pink t-shirt size 12. that's what i'd put um obviously you have to optimize your listings and make your listings a little bit more searchable with that and um, some people actually want to find specific things and a pink t-shirt um although that would pretty much cover it actually i think i chose the wrong garment there but a pink dress that really doesn't cover much is it you know is it um, chiffon is it silk i never put anything like that is it wool is it for career is it business is it is it for fun is it partying is it a garden party i i haven't put anything like that in there um so today i thought i'd help you with describing a couple of keywords that i struggle to find and have finally learned and i now use them when appropriate um so yes so we may as well just get on with this one. Sometimes I feel like I'm not making sense. I do apologise. So I'm going to make my head a little bit smaller because we want to be able to see what I'm showing you. There we go. I pop back up. I'm going to move me over here. First, we're going to start with an easy one. Now this is called dog tooth, and some of you might know it as hound's tooth, or you might not have known it at all. Uh, you may have just called it tweed or check or whatever this is a woven fabric it can often be printed especially on um, party dresses and things like that however it's commonly used in tailoring so blazers and also uh, trousers skirts and also dresses um, commonly used for more like smart wear more career wear business related uh, possibly wedding maybe not well, it depends how stylish you are, really. Um, so, yes, I use dog tooth because it's shorter than hound's tooth. And we like to opt, um, be very efficient with our titles. We want to get as many um, relevant keywords in there as possible. And sometimes hound's tooth is just a couple of characters too long. So I go for dog tooth. And as you can see here, we've got the lovely Kim Kardashian wearing this rather fetching um, tailored dress as you can see very smashing that one cute outfit I like a lipstick anyway next one this one was one that i struggled to find and i'm so happy when i found it it's called devore and it's spelt d-e-b-o-r-e -E. it's a french word and um i used to struggle i used to go sheer velvet floral i mean yes perfect some people know that one as well so you can use those keywords but it's devore and it is um commonly a velvet or chenille on a mesh either silk or mesh or it can be on um viscous depending on um what fabric's been used and uh, some people use burnouts but it's not actually burnout um burnout is actually a different thing altogether it's where cotton has been um gone through a chemical process where it actually burns the surface away so it's more like an etching of the fabric. This one isn't an etching. This one is actually um, a weave into the fabric. It's very complicated, I know. There is a slight difference, but um, yes, this is a devore, but you can put burnout if you want. Some people put burnout, B-U-R-N-O-U-T, uh, um, just because they don't know what it's called and some buyers don't know what devore is. So, But the ones that do know it are searching for it. And uh, yes, it's actually quite an expensive fabric. And these kimonos can fetch quite good money so do look out for these devore ones uh, do check the tasseling though because they often are damaged um sometimes they're repairable sometimes they can be trimmed but if they are damaged um they're not as valuable so yes this is a nice devore kimono devore came out um, in the early uh 1900s very popular with the flappers and the um, border, um Vaudevilles, the burlesques, uh, very pretty fabric. I have a nice Devore kimono. 
Um, they can range from uh, £30 up to £200, £300, depending on uh, the brand and the age. So yes, very popular. The next one is a chenille. Chenille is a yarn which is made from fluffy fibres. Fibres. Here's a nice picture of a yarn here. As you can see, it's really soft, snuggly fibres, and these will be woven into a soft, snuggly jumper. Very popular in the 90s, and they've had a big comeback because obviously the 90s has had a comeback, and these chenille jumpers are just fab. I had one and I wore it to death. I wore it to threadbare. It lost all its fibres. Um, yes, so this is, it almost has like a velvet feel to it. It's like woven velvet. That's the best way I can describe it. Really nice. But chenille is spelt C H E N I double -L, l E. And uh, you will come across this. If you ever wondered what it's called, there we go. It's called chenille. The next one I struggled with, it was I used to call it lace or ribbon lace. And basically all it is is lace or just plain mesh with ribbon sewn on in a floral pattern or a squiggly pattern. In fact, they use it on cake as well. Um, Cornelli is effect on uh, wedding cakes. It's like a squiggly woo, effect. And this is commonly seen on occasion wear or smart tops. Um, I have had a couple of jackets, a few tops, a few dresses with this Cornelli effect. And Cornelli is spelt C-O-R-N-E-L-L-I. And we'll take a picture. Here we go. So here's a nice Cornelli dress. It's ob obviously there. You can see it's all pretty ribbons sewn onto a mesh uh, to create this lovely fabric effect. Yeah, very popular on wedding dresses. Next one, chambray. Now this one, I used to go, oh, this is, looks like denim, but it doesn't feel like denim and it's not cotton. And what is this lyocell? Um, I had no idea. I used to say really lightweight denim. That's what I used to put. But now I've discovered it is called chambray and chambray is a very, very popular, very classic, very capsule wardrobe item. Chambray shirts are super, super, super popular year in, year out. They're um, a very lightweight denim, or they look it, but they're really thin and they can be cotton, they can be viscous, they can be lyocell. Um, there was others as well. You could get linen ones as well. And basically it is a blue wash denim look shirt. As you can see, this nice young lady is wearing one. Here, um, hugely popular. They always sell, no matter who they buy. You will pretty much get them to sell at quite a quick rate. Very popular. They're often um, pressed, or they are um, buttoned up. Yeah, they often have pockets. Usually, uh, yes. Very fun piece of item style. I'm now rambling, but yes, chambray, I don't know what I've spelt it for you, is C-H-A-M-B-R-A-Y. Yes, fabulous. So guys, let's make me I'm in the middle and big again. So guys, I hope you found that helpful, and not too rambly. Um, I'm not the most fluent person out there, but yes, I basically do this video just to help you guys out a little bit. Um, I hope you found it super interesting, super helpful. If you did, um, do pop a thumbs up. If you didn't, put a thumbs down, that's fine. Any interaction is good interaction as far as I'm concerned. Um, I love to read your comments. And if you want to watch further videos, you can hit the subscribe button. And also you can actually ding the bell and that will let you know when I put another video up. So anyway, I hope that helps you. And I love speaking to you. And I'll catch you later, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.